Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of The Last 100 Yards Mission Pack 1 from GT Games. This is not a complete game. You will need uh, Last 100 Yards Modules 1 and 2 to play all the missions in Mission Pack 1. So this is for Airborne and uh, Airborne over Europe and the original Last 100 Yards uh, Solomon's is not, uh, volume 3 is not required for this. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. So it's just a simple little uh, mission pack. So I'm just gonna have just a few. It's very thin. Looks like it's got some maps, maybe some counters that you will need for these expanded missions. Hopefully you don't need both uh, packs, just one, and it'll indicate which ones are available. So, so start out here with just a cover, and it says mission pack special rules for hedgerows, sunken roads, roadblocks, withdrawal restrictions, retreat restrictions. Uh, last hundred yard, hundred yards mission pack builds on volumes one and two of the series with focus on the Allied campaigns in Western Europe. The pack contains ten missions that occurred in 1944 during the Normandy pre-breakout and breakout phases in July, August of 44. The Hurtigan Forest in November and the Battle of Bulge in December. Join the 2nd Division's 23rd Infantry Regiment experience what Allied soldiers deter termed Hedgerow Hill as it drives through Purple Heart Draw to take Hill 182 against the 3rd FJ Regiment. The overall goal was to cut the St. Lowe Bayou Highway, a task that was critical in protecting the east flank of the 3rd Army's breakout from Normandy along the rest west coast. Players will need 1 and 2 to play all the missions, so hopefully it divides it. So you're going to get a couple of maps and five mission cards and the mission pack special rules. So this is the mission pack special rules. And we've got the cards with 10 missions. So there's five of those. Got that right. One, two, three, four, five. And there's 10 missions. So we got mission. Let's see where we got. For this side, we got 23. 24, 25, 26. So, mission 23, all for a piece of dirt. And whatever it indicates, so it shows the map you need, but it doesn't say what uh, game came with each one. So I guess you'll just have to determine whether you have it or not. So this is map five, this is map one, this is map 12. So you just have to go through them and see. So there's, like I said, there's 10 missions here for the game. And then we get a new map, or a couple new maps here. So here's map 34 and 36. So there's map 36. These are geomorphic, so you put them together to make your full map board size, map 34. And then 35 and 25. Why did they jump there? This is, the artwork on these maps, just like the, all the other games in the series, is just so beautiful. I love the uh, 3D effects on them, and then the, you know, the hexes, and you've got the, uh, the train lines and the uh, relief depicted. So, simple little upgrade, but ten new can't new ten, but ten new missions. So, should you pick this up, you're gonna get those two maps. You're gonna get ten, ten uh, missions on five cardstock mission cards, and this one little sheet with the special rules for the expansion missions. So, that is every. It's all gonna be in one little baggie, but then you're gonna be putting it in your your other game anyway. So that's everything that comes in. Last hundred yards mission pack one which seems to portend two, three, four, five, six, maybe? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!